How do you get passionate about a job you hate? <laughs> you don't. Today on Zippy Point. Quick Zips by Zippy Point. Quick and dirty. I'm Brock Romanek. I'm a big fan of yous. I've been working for myself essentially for about two decades, so I don't really know what made me want to do this memo and even think about this topic. But I got to wonder about how folks that work virtually now mail it into their job. There's clearly much more opportunity to mail it in as you could be at the beach and pretend to be slaving away in your home office. But that's not quite what I mean. Let me let me explain. I first learned the art of mailing it in when I was a porter at Sears. I, I did that job for several summers, starting in high school and up until the summer after my freshman year. Porter is a fancy title for janitor. So I, I would hang out high up in the stacks in the, in the back room where all the inventory was, climbing up these huge shelving units that contained oodles of air conditioners and other appliances, hundreds and hundreds of them, and I made myself like a little cave. Uh, my boss was fairly old, actually, <laughs> some kind of pill popper, and there was no way he was going to find me up there, about a dozen shelves up or even higher. So I would take naps, and then I would write three letters a day to my girlfriend back at, at Michigan. She would write three a day to me, too. I was, I was a big romantic. And once in a while, I would make the rounds. I would climb down and walk the floors to ensure that my boss would spot me. We called it shamming at, at Sears. Shamming means pretend. And then when I got to the SEC out of law school, the library was the place to be. You would go down there and find dozens and dozens of staffers uh, from all the divisions, mostly the division of enforcement, passed out, <laughs> hunched over the long wooden tables, taking a little siesta. Of course, these folks wouldn't be down there all day. You definitely spent time up in your office letting your boss know that you care. <laughs> And then in the law firm, for when those rare periods when you know things were slow, this, the associates, including me, would be foolish and not go home straight away. And they should have because, you know, you've clearly earned the break. You've been working at breakneck speed for 10 months, and then you finally had three days where it was slow. But you would definitely still go through the motions and be in the office and pretend you were busy, walk around, <laughs> talk, to the, talk to the secretaries. So all these situations presented ample opportunity for you to have some face time with your boss, acting like you're busy, pretending that you, know, you didn't know that your boss was watching you in action. But when you're working virtually, that seems hard to do. I guess you're sending your boss emails with pseudo updates on what you're up to. Maybe you do that in the form of an innocent question so that's not so obvious that you're actually letting them know, yeah, I'm at my computer, and that that counts. Or for the bosses that now set up regular Zoom calls to do check-ins with the team, I think that would qualify. Thanks, boss, for the opportunity for a fake, <laughs> fake shine. I just worry that the true art of shamming is lost for those of us in the white-collar world will be, that will be working at home forever. Hmm. <laughs>